Hello, I'm Ehsan. In this video, I want to show how to use external interrupt in STM32 series F1. At first, let's see document of external interrupt in summary. I prepare external interrupt in STM32 F1. When we use a code in while and we have module in our project and this module output is really important for us. We can use external interrupt for this module. Uh, what interrupt? Interrupt means cut something. For example, we have LED on board and it blink on wire. And another sensor, which is, which the result of is more important than other thing. It is better use interrupt because we want to see result of the sensor at a special moment with any problem in while we have two points at first or one is edge and next is nvic first is edge uh, we have high voltage and 3.3 uh, is high voltage and zero is low voltage okay for example uh, we have push button in our board uh, when we push it uh, we have a change 3.3 point voltage to zero voltage and we have falling edge and when we uh, don't push this uh, button we have rising edge and external interrupt work with to this edge falling or rising or rising and falling i i will see you in steam cube mix uh, what it is falling edge and, and rising edge is okay next is nvic is about uh, priority of interrupt uh, go to stm cube mix and make project with that okay first go to access to mc selector Choose the micro STM32 F103 RE. I use this micro. While, yeah, uh, you can see this micro and PB13 and tool is output. Output, yes, and you can see in this page, for example, uh, PC1 uh, have GPIO external interrupt, PC2 GPIO external interrupt to PC3, and PR0 GPIO external interrupt. All pins in uh, STM have uh, external interrupt, but I use external interrupt in pb15 external interrupt yeah uh, this is really important go to gpio and you can see pb12 and 13 is output and pb is external interrupt go to nvic and take this yeah this tick is really important because when we don't tick this item, we don't have routine interrupt in uh, K. Go to system and change to uh, serial wire for debugging. And then you can see everything is correct, yeah. Go to project manager, for example, X external in the Okay, external interrupt. Change this and save to desktop. External interrupt. You can see that. And and save to this folder open 
OK. Go to generate code. Copy only the necessary library file. It's really important. I use this option always. Everything is OK. Yeah, generate this code. Please wait a second. OK, we have this. Uh, let's see. Go to application user and main.c. And this is this for uh, external interrupt. You can see IT. It means external interrupt. Open it. And uh, go to main.c. And you can see in line uh, you can see uh -huh. uh, configuration GPIO pin PB15 is external interrupt is active you can see external interrupt initialize and which pin is 15 and it's related to uh, uh -huh, I forget that something in my code go to GPIO and I explain these important things uh -huh. you can see GPIO mode external interrupt mode with rising edge trigger education uh, we have different Rising edge, falling edge, rising and falling, and uh, with rising edge trigger detection, uh, it me uh, it depends on what code we can use it, and I choose rising and falling. I choose two edge, rising and falling. I explain in code and change, and you can see that what happened in my uh, code. Okay, regenerate. Okay, close, open, and please go yes. And you can see uh, IT rising and falling. And this is the change. This is more important. Okay, uh, we write code in here in main.c in Y. For example, I use this code. Copy and insert. Okay, uh, I define the one key uh, in uh, PB15 is the push button. After that, LED is on and then is off because my LED on board is common on and uh, it's it's uh, reverse. When I uh, get zero, it means the LED is on and when I get one it means my LED is off and we have a toggle pin uh, in PB13 okay uh, build wait a second Okay, build that code. Maybe just a few seconds. Okay, zero error and two warming to room is not important. Zero error and zero warming. And I uh, go to debug setting flash and tick this item always because when it compiled, it's auto, uh, it is automatically reset. And compile on my board well i change this delay to uh, 200 milli uh, second and compile and you can see what happened in my board okay one led is blink because of this code and the other one when i push this button you can see i push the button and the other is on and then is off 
all thing is correct okay but when I change this delay to 800 millisecond and compile and next okay program it you can see my board this LED is blinking and when I push the button for another LED nothing is happen but you can see is one time is D4 is on yeah it because uh, we have delay in this code and when we uh, have a lot of delay in our code uh, we have problem is two things is in the same code in the same while is operation at this time and uh, we can use uh, external interrupt okay I copy this function to external interrupts in here you can see okay external interrupt in here and put it this code in here and limit uh, this push button you can see I use routine external interrupt in this line 205 until 211 uh, build again okay and load what happened in my board uh -huh. we have problem in here uh, let's see what's happening here compile again and okay okay I compile it and you can see LEDs blink and when I push this push button other LED is D4 is on without problem this is useful of uh, external interrupt you can see without any problem and when I don't use external interrupt in 8 100 uh, millisecond I have a, a problem in D4 when uh, somehow uh, D4 sometimes is on and the other time is off but when I use external interrupt you can see we don't have problem in our circuit okay this is external interrupt again I you can see my code in while in main that see a toggle pin you can see that you can toggle and the other go to external interrupt in it and you can see this without problem and uh, it's work on it uh, this is the summary of external interrupt thanks for watching me plus subscribe me